He said, there is urgency. I'd like to distinguish between urgency and hurry. Urgency is a feeling of disquiet, like something, it's, it is time to do something. Something must be done. Uh, the way I am being and, and acting is inconsistent with the situation that I know to be true. That's the, that's urgency is a kind of a discomfort. And it often gets translated onto hurry, which can catapult us into patterns of response and, and modes of solution that may not be helping at all, or even could be part of the problem. And that doesn't mean that there's never a time to hurry, but like, just look at the urgency around climate change. You know, like when it's translated into hurry, we got to do something. Well, one thing that happens is we give power to those who are already in power because they're the ones who can do something. Second thing that happens is that we take actions that make sense only from a very limited understanding of the phenomenon that end up causing even more harm. Like, you know, such as, you know, biofuels plantations and, and wind turbine farms. So this is, I guess I just want to um, speak to the need for humility mm -hmm. that, that, that recognizes that the problem is much, much bigger and deeper than we thought it was. And that hesitates to jump too quickly onto ready solutions and ready even ways of understanding it. Like, for example, the good versus evil template. The problem is caused by evil people. Then we know what to do. Okay, fine. But what if the problem isn't actually caused by evil people? What if evil people are a symptom and we're constantly at war with the symptom? Then we'll never, ever stop the war. We'll always, it'll be perpetual war. So I guess and I'm not saying don't act, you know, and pull back. I'm saying recognize the moments where you feel futility and burnout and trust mm -hmm. those. That's right. the time to stop, to turn inward, to wait, to abide in the unknowing. And it won't last forever. <laughs>